All right, so this morning I got some N64 stuff to do. I sold one board. I haven't listed the other one yet. So I got two boards from Katoki's. That's a live stream, too. I do. I try to do a live stream when I can. So this is an 08 that works. Cartridge slot works. Everything works on this one. But it just got really bugged. I may keep this one because it's an 08, so it's a little bit better board, supposedly. Supposed to be with better graphics. I don't know. 08, 06, and then 09 was the last one. 09. But this one was heavily bugged from um, a Kadoki lot, but it works. I sold this one, my 04. I have to list this this uh, cartridge slot. Actually, I got two of the list now. So I just need to retest this again. I sold it. And I found these. I've, I've had a few of these. It's a transfer pack, but I never could figure out how to use it. It goes, everything's, these are cartridge driven. So everything's either the cartridge or the controller. The board just kind of moves the um, stuff around, I think. So I'm gonna test a couple of these. So I'll do. So my live stream's going, so I can go to audio and video. Okay, this, I had to pull this one out. This quote unquote said this came out of a Japan uh, N64, but they're the same. Don't let anybody fool you. The motherboard, once you pull the cartridge slot off, you can play Japan or USA games. Voltage is basically the same, 100 and, instead of 110, so it's still the same. So, the motherboards are there, you know, either are. So, anywho, so yeah, if anybody tells you there's no such thing as a Japan N64. Now, the GameCube, however, we only play the Japan, it shows Japan on the screen because that motherboard is actually part of the system, whereas where this one isn't. It's the game and the cartridge and the controller. This just kind of, I don't know what it does, it moves stuff around. I don't know how to explain it. But let me see where we're going to go here. So I need to test this this morning. And of course, There's always games around somewhere. I put them down and then I move them. So all my stuff. There's another one. So I got a couple of these to test. Another border in there somewhere. So just like controllers, I have hundreds of games, almost want to say thousands, for just about every system. I've got some fun collection, but not really that many collections, just a few. The Zelda's really my only collection stuff. Some Metroid, little Final Fantasy, that's really about it. But all are just random games, nothing really special. So I've got so many of them. I don't sell games often, because they're just a pain. At some point I will. Alright, so let's... Let's uh, source out here. Do we have video? Alright, let's first get this to work. I need to test it. I sold a couple of these. So we'll test a couple of these. And then we'll test this control too. Always blowing on the edge of the card before you put it in, no matter what. I do it every single time. So there's no controller there. So we know this all works because we're there. Oh, it's 
So we're doing the whole four first. We need to check the port. This port one is is key. If this port one don't work, then you're kind of kind of doomed. Let's see. Yeah. And once your port one works, that means this works. It means this is working. That's working. That's working. Everything's working. I don't know how to use this one of these. I've got three or four of them around. It says Game Boy. I wonder how that works. I've never, I don't know if, like I know on the, um, and on the, the game, GameCube, you need that special Game Boy disc, which I have. I've got an original one. And I've got some of the SD cards that you can do it using different, but you have to use different specific games. Some sort of little puzzle button. But I have all that stuff. But this one, this would have been before that, obviously, because it's N64. So I would assume, my assumption is, this just goes in here. You put the Game Boy in and it plays. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I've never tried it. So I would assume that this is what we're doing for this. Let's see what happens. I don't even know if these work either. I don't know if it, if it, if it bypasses the game and goes to this. I don't know. Or unless... So anyway, we know this works. I'm testing the ports and these because I sold this and then I sold these. <laughs> Separate. Two different orders. Yeah, things... If I get N64s, I sell stuff. So these work. We know that these work. So let's, check, let's test the controllers. And again, these I don't know. I don't know where I put my Game Boys now. I got games. Oh, you know what I have? Oh, I got Game Boy right here. Let's let's check that. I'm kind of fascinated by what that does. Alright, so that's oh, I've got damaged. Temp two. So I was looking for a controller pack. It's saying it's damaged. Oh no. Repair canceled. So let's not do that. I, I have packs. I got a whole bunch of them somewhere. Rumble packs, all kinds of. Again, everything with these. Once it got through the cut, once you get to the cart through the cartridge and the motherboard, everything else is controller related. Nothing actually is specifically the motherboard. It's, it's the other stuff. So all the accessories were on here. Which I have no idea what this. Is. This is some sort of rumble pack, but I don't think it has memory. I'm sure it doesn't work. Just curious. I've got a box full of these. Oops, there's a longer though. I got a whole box of these things to go through. Yeah. I just was curious on what this will say. And it's not showing it at all. Now it says controller pack. So so still staying controller pack. So somewhere I've got a memory one that works. I just gotta find it. For now, <laughs> oh, I gotta push this thing in. <sighs> right, so this, this is Performance Trevor Pack Plus. It's really worn in there. See it? So I think you could put this in there, and then that goes in there, and you've got ten thousand things sticking out of your controller. <laughs> Remember the this has the original and then there's the expansion which is red which are really expensive now. I have one left and then I have one I found a Mad Cats and it has a little hood scoop on top which is it's on my I got it, I just did a video on it. It's my 09. It's got an 09 under the hood, 09 motherboard, and then it's got a little scoop and the Mad Cats memory upgrade. It's pretty cool. So, where was I at now? Oh, so I'm testing ports again. Yeah, port one is your key. Yeah, port one has to work. Or you get stuck with the. <laughs> oh, let's do the other. Right, so, that's, a, that's USA Games. And let's do something with Japan. Because we can. That's the good thing. Boom. So no such thing as a Japan or USA 
N64 motherboard. It's just the same. And then you can see it's Japan. It looks like it says Mario Kart or a Kart 64 of some sort. Push start. Really cool. This is an original. Got lots of these controllers around. I'm not really a racing fan that much. A little bit. Not really. Can't say I could sit. Just do racing games. Oh, there we go. This controller seems to work nice. It's blue. I like the blue one. Yeah, because to me this is boring. You just go around in circles. Whoa. Oh, this one got whoa. Well, I guess it could be fun. Cut through that. Oh, oh you can't back around like that. It's like bombs in there. There's this stuff. Oh, the spikes. I see the spikes. I guess I'm hitting with the spikes. Bastard. Alright, so this is cool. Let's see if the other thing. Okay. So that, that does the Japan. And we, you know, the cartridge works for that. Oh, Game Boy. Just have to have it in front of me. This will. So I'm assuming, why am I assuming this? I don't know. That you wouldn't put a cartridge in, right? Keep a cartridge off. You know, I've never done this. People, you know, N64 has been around for thousands of years. And that's the first time I've ever tried it. So a Shadow Glade Classic, and this is my EverDrive. This is a Game Boy Color, which I got. I bought so I could test all this fun stuff. And it works. I was, to, I was trying to 3D scan it. That's what all these dots are for. But I kind of didn't work out yet. But we'll, we'll get that to work. So this, I want to get an LED mod for this one. At some point. But it fully works. It's pretty cool. I bought it. We have a local store now here in Westerly. So I bought it there. And it was about the price with that. They yeah, were on eBay and I got this nice little case. So I use it, I've been using it a lot. Not really like to play or anything. I'm not going to sit and play a game, but I'll play around with it. Alright, so I don't know what, I'm not sure how this. So if I have a. Alright, so let's say that it's, it's in slot one. We know everything else works. So will, will it just go right into this? If I put the Game Boy in here, let's give it a whirl. I don't know. I'm under again. I don't know if any of these work, but I would assume this is what you would do. That's my assumption. And it would go whoop, to this. But you're not going to get any signal because it's not a game. So unless this is a specific, maybe there's a cartridge you need for that. I'll have to look at that because I don't know. How would you bypass? How would you get to here? <laughs> yes. Again, this is one of those conundrums I'm unsure about. Because I've never done it. <laughs> Let's put the game back in there for a minute. So it's N64. It should go here. But where will it go? Yep, so it still goes here. How do you get here? It's got to be a... Um, one of these 64 gigabytes this one says Ooh, that could be a special one it says 64 gigabytes on this one. Ooh, I like that a transfer pack NUS 019 so nowhere am I seeing that how you could have a game on there I gotta push the little thingy down here I found one 64 gigabytes. Not my gigabytes, what I'm saying. 64. Yeah, that says gigabytes. How's that possible? How can this be 64 gigabytes? 64 gigabytes. 
Not possible. Not back then. I'm actually quite sure now. Now I'm really intrigued. Because these came to me randomly at the, end of, at the bottom of boxes. I used to get a lot more lots. I just can't, can't afford it anymore. But 64 gigabytes. That's exciting. I don't know why that is. I thought it would be megabytes back then, right? I just want to be able to play this on here. But I'm assuming, like I said, there's got to be a disc that you need. Unless you play the game. Come on. Press start. And usually it should pop to something different right there. No control part found. You want to be able to load or save games. So it's not finding that at all. Hmm. So we'll research that. I'm not sure. But I just want to see what it would do. And we tried it without it. And, and no luck. It's got to have something in here. How can it transfer? This is a cartridge that you stick this thing in like this. Maybe that's what it is. Again, I don't know. I've, first time that I've kind of sat with these and been like, what are they for? But we'll figure out. I'm always doing something. Anyway, I had some order orders, which is the motherboard and two of these. So I'm just randomly, I had some of this stuff around. Decided to kind of test it. That's what I want to do. And I got my Everdrive. This is awesome. Oh, this was the other thing I wanted to do. I started playing Shadowgate 55. So if you grew up in my era, Shadowgate was just, it was awesome you could, back then. It's war driven. Not much of it. You don't really, you, you, if you, you look, find, hide, open, stuff like that to move around. But I started playing on hand, it was pretty fun, but it was really, really hard to see on that little screen. So I know that I have Shadow Gate. I know I do. What's that thing I do? On. I have an EverDrive for the N64. I have an N64 EverDrive. Just, I just, just had it. Oh, here it is. All right. So, this is what I have too. And this is always fun to show. On Atari Mario Brothers. I found this. Bought that. Pretty cool stuff. But what I do have. So Etsy is my number one go-to for anything homemade gaming, games that are modified, or gaming, anything gaming homemade, go to Etsy, it's the best stuff ever there. So these are, you know, you can get these anywhere. So this is, I've got this one, I've got one for the Game Boy, which is here, EverDrive, this is basically the same kind of concept. I have um, PS1 Mini. Special USB upgrade. I've got a Neo Geo X special card upgrade for like more games. Um, PS2, I have a hard drive in the back, special upgrade. So I'm still in search of, I mean, I can't afford it now, but PS3, um, PS4, they, they make one now. It's like six, five, six hundred dollars, 200 games. Original Xbox 01 to 05, I've, I've, I have two motherboards that have some sort of a mod to it, but it doesn't have all the games on it, so I'm in search of that one, that's coming in the future. Original, a newer one, a newer a mod, I guess this is the old ones, and there's new ones, that'll play all the games, so I'm interested in, and then Xbox 360. So all the four main ones, is what I'm, I don't have yet, but I've got Game Boy. N64. I think I have NES too. I do. In some ways, there's an NES cartridge around here. That's kind of like this one. A little. It has a little slot to it. This says NTSC or PAL. So any let's go here. This was not cheap though. Ah, oh, there it 
but it's fun. I suggest anybody get again your own. So European pal, top loader. So what I wanted to, do, what I was looking for was Shadowgate, which probably won't be on this. I have Shadowgate as an N64 cartridge somewhere. I don't see it. Not seeing it. No, let's see it. Oh, there it is. There it is. N sixty four trials of the top. So that was that's the one that was N sixty four. Oh, started. Cool. So I could totally play these. Oh, so I'll need a controller pack, which I'll find. So what I want AI to do, uh, which I'm gonna try to help. I'm sure people watch model will do it. All these old. Word games, they did make a Shadowgate more modern, I would say, within the next, last few years. But if you were in my era, back to the TRS 80 days with the classic games that were all words, it would t you'd have to figure out where things were by your imagination. I want to be able to interpret that with the AI, like with the screen next to you, that would actually make that. Like it says, turn left and you see a desert. That's how those games play. But you would actually see it on a screen next to you because it would interpret what it's saying. And then I also want AI to take all these games, especially Nintendo, whereas in Nintendo, like even the newest Zelda's, some of the main character animations, there's voice, but then the rest is all words. I want I want AI to make it all voice, and you can change like how the voices, or it'll know. Like if it's a girl that you encounter, you can do that for every Zelda game back back to the end. I know it's possible now. Oh, so anyway, that's my little rhetoric about AI. I haven't really done much with it yet. Just kind of Shadowgate sixty four, Trials of the Four Towers. Sweet. That's why you want this because you get all the fun stuff. Just about every system, like I said, except for Xbox One, I haven't seen anything about that having any. Um, oh, you know, probably shouldn't have gone on that long. And we'll just say that's good enough. I'll try that. I got my other one. I'll play it with this. I won't get on to Oh, yeah. So, just Xbox One's the only one I don't think it has. So you can get a mod. Or a system mod with all the games on it. Because I know it's the PS4. If you go to Etsy. PS4 modded. PS4 Pro. It's about 500 bucks. Or so. With an 8 terabyte. You, you need 8 terabytes to get. I think he said 200 games. You get 8 terabytes. And it's. Uh, 9 is the firmware that you need. You can get one that just has nine firmware and do it yourself, I guess. I don't know. So many fun things come up. So I'm still... It's been three or four years. Oh my, actually, probably four or five. Just learning all the basics. All the systems. Tried to find as many as I could. Everyone ever made around the world and stuff. So now I'm going back. I'm trying to start to get to the mods and some accessories and stuff. For the next couple of years. These come off. This is good. This is good. This I sold. This I sold two of these together. Two. So those are done. This is done. if I get some board cleaner and clean up so it always gets all around the oh chip but this works this one works yes, it did. I find out. so that's my ever drive these I gotta figure out yet I'm gonna have to research that I'm sure there's something else I need it's gotta be it has to be some sort of a 
cartridge. I don't want to lose the habits whenever I'm there. Oh, I got this to play around with those other fun things. I only got it because it was at a local store and it was fairly within reach to buy it. Someone else almost bought it before I could get to it, but I got it. I like the case. I'm gonna get an alert. I'm trying, still trying to learn about all mods. Physical uh, mods that I can just buy are cool. Things I have to manipulate or do on the board, I really can't get to. Pico boot, I'm still trying to do that. Wire, wire place that. I just thought, I just have to try this one. This one should work as is. Should. It did. Okay, it gets almost smell the stinky bugs in it. And the, what I always say is imagine the house that it came from. That's always what gets me. These, if you saw when I first took this part of the video somewhere, it was really bugged. So imagine that house or the room where that person was playing on the floor. <laughs> the bugs are running around. Some scary stuff, man. Alright, so we're there. So we're just retesting this anywho. I've got one other one. Let's see which one. Just bugged. Some of the cartridge slot, the thing works. Oh man, so that's about it, man. It's a little fun thing there.